This is an example of a question asking you to express as a single vector the addition or subtraction of two or more vectors. The first part you're asked to find vector AD plus the vector DC. So this is the vector AD plus the vector DC. To add these two vectors we'll use the triangle law. So we start at the beginning of our first vector and we go to the end of our second vector. So the red vector is AD plus DC. And this is the vector AC. This was found using the triangle law. The second part of the question asks you to find vector AO plus vector OD. So vector AO plus vector OD. So again we can use the triangle law to add these two vectors. And our answer is the vector AD. And this is found using the triangle law. The third part of the question, you're asked to find the vector AB plus twice the vector OD. This is a little more difficult than the first two parts. So putting in our vector AB, and we want to add twice the vector OD. So here's the vector OD. Now to add these vectors we'd like to line up the start of the second vector to the end of the first vector. So looking at the vector OD you should be able to see another vector that's the same as OD and that is the vector BO. These vectors are equal since they have the same length as the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. They are going in the same direction and they're parallel. Therefore, they are equal vectors. So this can be rewritten as the vector AB plus twice the vector BO, since the vector BO and the vector OD are equal vectors. So the vector AB plus twice the vector BO. If you look at the vector B to O, twice the vector BO is the vector going in the same direction, just twice as long. So twice the vector BO is the vector BD. So this is equal to the vector AB plus the vector BD. And now we can add these again using the triangle law. So to add vector AB plus vector BD using the triangle law, the answer is the vector AD. The fourth part of the question you're asked to find the vector AB minus the vector CB. So the vector AB is here and we want minus the vector CB. So looking at the vector CB, this is the vector CB minus the vector CB is the vector that goes in the opposite direction. So this is minus the vector CB and you can see that that's equal to the vector BC. So this is the vector AB plus the vector BC. So when you change the sign of the vector its direction changes or if you change the direction of the vector its sign changes. So to add these two we can use the triangle law. So if we start at A going to B followed from B to C our overall displacement is A to C. Now the fifth part of the question asks you to find the vector AO minus the vector AD. So again, so the vector AO, we'll change the vector minus AD to plus the vector DA. When you change the direction of the vector, its sign changes. So then we'll add these two vectors. So the vector AO plus the vector DA. There's the vector DA. To add these two vectors, it's easier to rewrite it as the vector DA plus the vector AO. So we're just rearranging the addition. 
and using the triangular law then to add these two vectors you get the vector DO the last part of the question we're asked to find vector AD plus the vector DE minus the vector OE so again we'll change the negative vector so minus the vector OE is the same as plus the vector EO and now we'll add these vectors so we have the vector AD plus the vector DE plus the vector EO so using the triangle law to add these vectors we're going to go from the start of the first vector to the end of the last vector that we are adding so this is our overall displacement so if you look at this, if you started at A and went to D followed by D to E and then E to O overall you have gone from A to O so this is the answer here